Hello, my viewers, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm playing some Thief Simulator, but I figured I'd sit down and talk to you guys for a bit. I made a post about what I'm going to talk about not too long ago, and I figured I would verbally have the discussion. This channel has been really quiet for a few months, hasn't it? <laughs> and where's my old channel? And why did I disappear for two, three months? And also, bigger question, what are my, what are my plans going forward? I'm going to try to format this video in that general uh, line, order, etc. So, as I walk around the neighborhood, just taking a walk, um, my last channel was becoming very toxic. To the point where it was making me toxic. I was becoming spiteful and angry. Genuinely, I was just unhappy. I liked making gaming content. I liked streaming games. And I liked progressing through the video game and collecting achievements and collecting trophies and doing all the collectibles and all the missions. It, playing video games makes me happy. But somewhere along the way, people decided to make that channel very toxic. A group of people that have absolutely no purpose being in my channel or in my life. And so I deleted the channel because I figured it was time for a change. I saw an opportunity to take some time off, so I deleted the channel, and I took a vacation. It has been about two to three months, and there's my van, and I decided that I would just take a vacation, do some thinking, do some white guy thinking time, pick some rocks, skip some stones, enjoy the sunlight, not in the game, but like in real life, and told a few lies so people would know where I was at so I could go and have some time to let's just really vacation and you know overall I've just been here for the last few months just chilling smoking weed hanging out with winter doing my thing like a chicken wing and overall I think this is the thing that really really stands out streaming was making me hateful it was making me spiteful angry, mad at the whole world because nobody cared about the real issues that were going on in my life. They were caused by other people that held no accountability and they sat there with an ego trip and a sense of entitlement so far and so long that I realized you're never going to be able to talk common sense to a person with no common sense. They'll never understand logic, they'll never admit what they're wrong, it's always, you're bad, fuck you. Never seen it, that opinion's never going to change. You can show them proof right to their face and they'll never, ever accept it. So why, why bother doing something that genuinely doesn't make you happy? And why would you want to converse or try to convince people that we need to change things if nobody, not you, not the guy next to you, not your mom, not your uncle, not the guy on the other side of the internet, not, not even the guys over in China on the other side of the world, nobody cares. And so what's the point? I'm not angry about this. I'm disappointed. But then I realized something. There's no point in discussing subject matter that A, is toxic, B, is gross, because at the end of the day, what they were doing and talking about doing was gross. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. I could really care less at this point. But genuinely, it was just not healthy to be around. So when I took this vacation, I realized that, and I made some decisions that I think will go a long way. Numero uno, there will be no more live streaming on the YouTube side of Tips to Be Content ever again. Maybe someday I'll do a Twitch. Maybe, maybe I'll do a joint thing a couple years down the road. Maybe I'll stream regardless that I, if I just change my mind like I always do. But right now, the decision is I will not be streaming anymore for Tips TV on YouTube. There's just anything else is up in the air and if I do decide to stream on YouTube, it's going to be a while. That is the general thought at this time. Because it got so toxic and so volatile. I mean, if I do stream, there won't be no chats. If I do stream, it might be private streams. And then I'll just publish you and see what happened on the stream after. Kind of like pre-recording videos but it's private live. There's a couple of ways I could go about it. But I just don't see myself streaming in, in the immediate future. Just, it's hostile. 
and people will use it in an abusive way. People will sit there and they'll harass you, they'll take all, they'll suck the fun out of the game. And then it also was something that I see as lazy. I don't need to always be streaming. Right now I pulled up a, my PC, pulled up some Thiv C Simulator, put a record button on there, and I'm doing the same general thing. There's a little more effort into it, but it also gives you time to think about what you want to say too. I think there's more things to, to creating content than just streaming a game. And I want my content to be something I value. S baby steps, baby steps. So anyway, um, another thing, I do think that I will not be allowing any sense of toxicity in my channel in any capacity. Doesn't matter what the content's about. I don't think that I need to engorge myself in t hostile conversation with people that just don't understand right and wrong. It's annoying. It's childish. It's petty. Speaking of childish, um, my chats and my comment sections are open to everybody. But all I ask is no vulgarity, be appropriate, and it's always public. I don't DM nobody no more. Here's why, because I'm not looking to make friends with anybody. I'm not going to be accepting anyone to join the games with me I'm playing solo. That is a permanent decision. I have more control of the game that way. And plus, it's not that I don't want to play with my fan base, like have a everybody jumps into GT Alliance that kind of thing one day. It's not about that. It's more so, I have more control of the Let's Play, and I feel like I should be the focus of the content. Because for the last three to four years, everybody else was, it was just a mess. But I'll allow people to comment. I don't care who you are, I just don't want to know you like that, you know? I think that's the, and I'm not trying to say that to be rude. I'm trying to say that in a sense that, you know, we keep this from a viewer to an audience basis. I know that minors will tune in because it's a gaming channel. I know that people will tune in otherwise because it's a gaming channel. Keep it appropriate. Otherwise, I'll throw you out. Doesn't matter who you are. I don't want to know. Here's why, because I don't plan on getting to know nobody. I don't really want to make friends on YouTube. I used to want to make friends on YouTube. In fact, I made a few friends on YouTube. And then they became just not the kind of people that stuck around. Cowards. Lazy. And people that just had so many interior problems that it's just not worth the drama. And I think that's ultimately what I want. I don't want no drama. If I'm going to be here playing video games, I want to focus on the game because games are meant to be fun. These are some of the things I thought about while on my vacation. You know, I want to try to set an example of a decent content creator who makes decent content. And if it's not focused on the content and the content's being thrown over which way because everyone wants to have it say, oh, I hate you now because you won't listen to me be an idiot, well, then you're not worth my time. And that's another thing. I don't got no time for attention-seeking bitches in my comment sections or in any chats that I may or may not have going forward. I just, if you come here looking for attention, I'll throw you out. All comments are held for review because that just makes it easier. No one will ever see your stupidity and your bullshit if you keep that shit up. I don't care what you say about me. You can say whatever the hell you want. You're entitled to your opinion. But remember that your opinion is not fact. It rarely is. Now, if you're calling me out on facts, that's... <laughs> I still don't give a shit. And here's why. Because that give a shittery, your issues with me may not have anything to do with the actual content. If it doesn't have to do with the content. Well, the content's about gaming. Therefore, it's not about the content of your bitching. I don't like you because you are a white male who's straight. Okay, we're not talking about politics on this channel either, of any kind. That is hereby never be a thing again. These are the general rules. That's it. I don't need to repeat though, I'm not going to. I took some time off to think about all these kinds of things and I realized if I set some ground rules for myself, and ground rules are important, then I genuinely will be happier as a creator and as a content person. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna what I'm gonna play. So now we're into part of the video where we're talking about where we're going, what we're doing going forward, right? The plans for the future. Um, generally, I think it's just gonna be let's plays. Like I said, they're live streams. It won't be for a while unless I do it a certain way, and even then, it might be a hot minute. But um, I do know this. I definitely want to play Alien Isolation. 
I definitely want to play the Resident Evil franchise, 1 through 8, maybe even Code Veronica. I definitely, 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 definitely want a Platinum GTA 5 before GTA 6 comes out. That's going to be, hmm, that's going to be a challenge. And then I also really want to get into Dark Souls. I have left a poll in the community tab. You guys choose and we'll play them based off the winners by popularity order. Just know that that poll will be going on for as long as humanly possible, and I'll start putting it in my video descriptions, including this one. And I encourage you guys to vote. What do you guys want to see? And then, as we go, I'll, uh, well, starting in two months, that's when we'll be doing this, we'll play said game, and we'll go down the list of all four. Right now, I think Dark Souls is winning. I haven't checked in the half a day. But, you know, give you guys something cool to do. I figure these are things to start off with to kind of get the ball rolling. And then in two months, once we start these things, and then once we finish them, we'll have all kinds of cool things coming out that are going to be fun. Uh, GTA 6 comes out in exactly a year. At least that's the it's slated to come out. Um, Alien Isolation 2 has now been announced. Resident Evil always has stuff going on, so we'll have plenty of things to do for that. I saw some gameplay for G uh, Resident Evil 4, and I'm excited for it. Um, and then the thing for the uh, the thing re uh, remastered is coming out, the PS2 game, and that that's <laughs> I'm really excited for that one. Um, I've also had ideas of bringing uh, out the recording software and doing PS1 and PS2 gaming runs of the old days. Because, you know, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Enter Electro, Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and Jedi Power Battles, uh, WWE Smackdown, Smackdown 2, Know Your Role, Smackdown 3, Here Comes the Pain, Shut Your Mouth, Just Bring It, um, all the Smackdown versus Raws, I can really go to town on WWE, at least to be really honest with ourselves here. Um, then you got all the James Bond games, Half-Life, I mean, I could go on and on and on. There's so many old games that you guys would probably love to see. I know Splinter Cell is one I really want to do. I also heard that they're actually remaking a Splinter Cell game. I think it's the first one they're remaking, but I don't know. I haven't really looked too deep into it. I just heard a lot of things there. Apparently it's official. Which is, oh, so awesome. So, you know, these are things that I want to do for you guys. But the rule is, it's going to be limited to gaming content. If it's not about games or gaming related in some way, and I don't mean like we play a game and talk. If I ever do vlogs, this is just what's going to be me walking around Greenview or Richie Rich Street talking about what's on my mind. But the rule is, it's going to be always gaming related, gaming content. That way, we have a niche, a niche, a genre, whatever you want to call it. And it's on some kind of a path of focus because I really do want to start making my content amazing. And if I start jumping to all different genres, YouTube won't notice send my videos, and you know, I can't grow that way. I've also noticed that my channel jumped in subs, part of the reason why I figured I'd make this video now. And I think that that is amazing. So, to the 323 people that joined, welcome to Tibbs TV. You guys are amazing. And you know, we'll figure out a nickname for our fan base etc later on as we go um, but I really do want to get this done the right way and I really do want to get started on creating amazing content for you guys um, right now there's a little list of uh, different social media platforms that I have I'm gonna run through them real quick with a couple of disclaimers I have an Odyssey it's a back of all my old content if you must know what I was covering and I cannot promise you it's all going to be there because I have not uploaded it all, but I'm thinking maybe I will. I haven't really decided yet. Figure it out as we go. Um, then I also have a Twitter. My Twitter is where I like to do, eh, screw around with politics. Sometimes it's fun just to spew common sense and post memes and see what people do. It's not the healthiest platform in the world. I probably won't be that active on it going forward, but it's there. I have an Instagram where I'm post primarily be posting pictures of my artwork. I've decided to do that with my Instagram, um, and I also have a Twitch. The Twitch is not listed at this time, but I'm thinking I'm going to list it in the next couple few days. Maybe I'll figure it out as we go. Actually, I'll figure it out as we go. Um, what else? What else? What else? And I also have a PayPal donation button as well as a Cash App. The cash App is also not there right now. I'll add that later on, probably tonight. Um, 
Actually, I'll start. I'll list all these in the description of this video too. So there's that. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, and I have two books on Amazon. Those are also be listed somewhere. I just don't think they're up in the descriptions or anything like that yet. Anyway, oh, and I also have a uh, archive of posts. So all my community tab posts are put in this one thing that's in the description. It's probably going to say bit.ly slash tips to be community uh, or tips to be posts. And it'll just make things easier to find if you're looking for something that I post in particular, like my Fallout 3 tutorial of how to get run to run on in 2024. Or my update for the channel. It's going to be like, you know, a forum, I guess, in a way, but done through YouTube. It's just the only way I can really describe it. Anyway, um, that's generally the plans going forward. And I don't think there's a whole lot else to talk about. So I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out. Adios.